it's time for another ID certification review. This is quite special. Why? Well, first, this is the first network or cloud automation hands-on lab certification exam. Second, it's probably the most satisfying mid or professional level certification exam that I ever achieved. Because, well, it's difficult. Yes, more difficult than ACE level 3. This is Arista Cloud Engineer level 5 Cloud Automation. For those who are new to this channel, welcome. I am your host, named Steen Armada, and I am Career and Certification Captain. And on this channel, we talk about tech careers and certifications, trivia and tutorials in Cloud and Data Center, trivia and tutorials in cybersecurity, and my journey as an IT instructor. So feel free to check out the rest of the channel and consider subscribing. Let's talk about first network automation. Is it really a thing now? Well, the short answer is yes. Network automation is indeed a reality and it involves using software-based tools and technologies to automate configuration, management, and operation of network devices. And the three most popular tools are Python, Ansible, and the Central Controller, or the Central Management Platform. The network automation has increasingly becoming more and more prevalent and essential in modern networking. And this is to enhance efficiency, scalability, Faster troubleshooting, improves security, adds business agility, simplifies the network as a whole, and many more. Now, for those who are not familiar with Arista networks, other than the huge competitor of Cisco system in data center space, actually, you can check this out, this video, to know who won the battle of the century. And don't hate me for this. I wasn't the promoter. I was merely the commentator. All I know is that the video was fun. Well, anyway, Arista Networks is a computer network company based in Silicon Valley, Santa Clara, California to be specific, and they offer various solutions. But they gained popularity from their data center Ethernet switches, which is designed to be low latency, built for programmability, automation, and SDN solutions. All switches runs in a single operating system, which is called EOS or Extensible OS. And this runs on a Linux kernel. And who uses their products? Well, huge data centers, popular apps, cloud service providers. It's like this. After Arista and Microsoft created hyperscale cloud networking blueprint around 2010s, other cloud giants became at least as customers as well, such as Rackspace, Facebook, Netflix, and many more. And it's safe to say that the cloud as we know today wouldn't exist at the scale that it does without Arista switches. Now, Arista certification program has been revamped last 2021, a couple of years ago. So we had ACE-A. A stands for Arista Certified Engineer and A stands for Associate. This has been retired, you know? You can no longer take the exam. The new certification program consists of seven levels. Yes, this is ACE and A stands for Arista Cloud Engineer. Level one, two, three, up to level seven. And level one is the lowest. We call this Cloud Novice. And the highest is level seven. We call this cloud expert. So let's talk about more ACE Arista Cloud Engineer Level 5 Cloud Automation. Most Arista certification exams are hands-on lab. And we're talking about most because there are a few. I think it's only one. But anyway, uh, we have Level 1 to Level 5. These are all hands-on lab. And we have Level 7, the highest the expert. And what else? Specialization. Yes, these are all hands-on lab exams. Uh, level 6 is not. Okay, we're going to talk about it more in another video. Now, these exams, these are all virtual slash remote labs. It's not like CCIE where you need to go to the exam location. 
So, no need to travel, no need to book accommodation. There is no prerequisite for this exam, so you don't need to be ACE Level 3 or Level 4 in order to take ACE Level 5 or L5 exam. But here is the thing. You can only take the exam when you attend SDN Pro's official training courses. This can be ILT or instructor-led training or self-paced video training. Now, when you attend ILT, it includes three weeks of lab access and support as well. For those who are curious on those training courses offered by SDN Pros, kindly check the link below. Exam Experience ACE Level 5 is a four-hour hands-on lab exam. All remote, there is a proctor that will guide you, but he will not actually gonna monitor you, unlike Kubernetes or Offensive Security Certification exams. It's because the exam is open books. Yes, bring everything. Notes, materials, configuration examples, scripts, templates, everything you need to pass the exam. Now, the actual exam is based on the training you attended. And obviously, it's not exactly the same lab exercises. It's a little different. It's a little more difficult. Scheduling the exam is not via Pearson VUE nor ProMetric. You book the exam via SDM Pro's website, which is the training arm of Arista Networks. Once booked, they will send you a link via email and you will get the exam details. Preparation time. I've been working with Arisa Switches for over eight years. Again, I'm one of the first certified instructor, and this is way back 2015. So I'm already familiar with the technologies such as CVP, EVPN, MLAG, VXLAN, etc. I also passed ACE Level 3. I actually did a certification review, so feel free to check this video. What else? I delivered ACE Level 3 courses multiple times as well, so I'm already knowledgeable. I got the skills to configure Arisa switches. For Python programming, it's not only I am familiar with Python network automation, I also use Python programming for security purposes. As a matter of fact, I have published three courses related to Python. So if you are curious, kindly check the link below. It took me a little less than a couple of weeks for preparation. And what I prepared for was specifically the Ansible part because I'm not well versed with Ansible. That's the only missing part for me, I guess. Okay, the cost of the exam is 450 US dollars for the first attempt. If you fail, the cost would go down to 300 US dollars. Not bad, right? The materials I used are official training materials and official Arista documentation. Now, what would benefit you if you obtain this certification? Well, here's the thing. There are only very few top tier network vendors that are designed for large data center and cloud network automation environment. We are talking about Facebook, Google Cloud, Microsoft Azure, Netflix level. What else? Oh, even the giant financial institutions data center networks as well. So if you want to work with these huge companies, they will probably look for not just Arista skills, but automation and programmability skills as well. So you should get this certification. Again, the exam is an intense hands-on lab designed for Python, Ansible, network programmability and automation. And again, this is the first and probably the best hands-on certification exam that is solely for network automation. Tips. The best advice that I can give to you is to go for ACE Arista Cloud Engineer Level 3 first. Because if you're able to understand these technologies, MLAG, VXLAN, EVPN, and PVGP, if you're able to pass the exam, you only need to develop Python and Ansible skills, which is part of the course, the ACE Level 5, that is required for you to take the exam. Now, 
Since you're given three weeks lab access when you attend the ILT, you should do more and more labs. Experiment, play around, practice automating basic network configuration, then do more automation. Automate the more advanced configurations such as PGP, VXLAN, MLAG, EVPN, etc. And on the exam itself, they provide you these questions, this task. Spend time understanding these questions, this task, etc. Grab a piece of paper and draw the topology if it's possible and list down the requirements. Highlight those key terminologies. And don't forget to prepare the related materials like sample configuration, scripts, documentations, everything you need. And lastly, use multiple monitors. I used four monitors. I came prepared. I came well prepared and well equipped. I had sample configurations, sample scripts, documentations, and even the lab guide used in ACE level five course. Now, let's make a verdict. It's time to rate this certification. First, exam content. I will definitely give this five. Advanced data center networks, software defined networking, VXLAN, EVPN, but focuses on Python, Ansible, and network automation. Next, relevance to current technology. I will also give this five. We're talking about advanced technologies used by tech giants, such as Facebook, Netflix, Microsoft Azure, and many more. Next, value for money. I will also give this five. Some people would say it's expensive. ILT can be costly, but take note. You can also do self-paced. There's another option. Next, market demand. I will be fair. Since the certification program is relative new and not too many companies are using Arista switches, not too many companies are requiring ACE level five, I will give this 4.5. Do you agree with my ratings? <laughs>